<laughs> Firefighters Sheila Leahy and Chantette Stallworth graduated from the Boston Fire Academy in 2000. Their class with six female recruits stands out to this day. Calls for more gender and ethnic diversity have long dogged the Boston Fire Department. Only about 29% of its members are minorities. Fire Commissioner Joseph Finn tells us he is working to up that number. I state your name. This year he swore in the most diverse graduating class since 2003. 37% were minorities, including the first Asian American woman to join the department. And for the first time, a woman, Deanna McDevitt, was promoted to the rank of district chief. We've certainly upped our game uh, around recruitment and, and, and getting there because certainly we need to be reflective of the communities that we serve. Getting to Moon Island is not easy, but is possible, he says. The state holds the required written exam every two years and runs the candidate selection process, which includes an absolute preference for veterans. I'd say explore that if that's for you. The opportunity is there for everybody, to be honest with you. It really is. Firefighter Stallworth didn't plan to become a Boston firefighter. From Akron, Ohio, she went to school for fashion design, then bounced around a bit before taking the exam. A friend of mine told me about firefighting. I was like, women don't do that. He was like, uh, yeah, they do. And I thought about it and I said, I'm gonna do this. Now she is the lone female firefighter at her Dorchester station house, engine 52, ladder 29, affectionately nicknamed Cruise in the Ave. Just entering her 20th year, from the start, she knew this job would yeah. stick. It gave me butterflies. Just the thought of not knowing what's gonna happen every time you go out that door. She's the only woman in Boston assigned to a ladder truck. As she explains it, the engine has the water, the ladder has the tools. Her responsibilities range from search and rescue to ventilation. The fire gets in the walls, it gets in pipes, so we have to break open things, especially the roof. And um, the guys, you look down in there and those guys are like, thank you, because they're taking a beating in there. It's really hot. Her station house alone responds to about 3,000 calls a year. We get a lot of false alarms, get a lot of car accidents, uh, a lot of medicals. She says the excitement of the job is real. Everyone tells us it's firefighters, you gotta be crazy to be running into a fire, but we love it. But the importance of each call, the big picture, is never forgotten. They're all impactful to me, especially when we lose life, um, and children especially. On for 24 hours at a time, when it's time to work, it's all business. But there is downtime too. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has their own individual sleeping quarters, but it's not real sleep. We're out the door like every few minutes, we're in and out. Linens are changed between shifts. You put your stuff back in your little crate, and then the next person on another tour, they use the same bed. The washer and dryer constantly spinning. Everything's 24 seven. Everyone shares chores. We all keep the house clean. We have a gym in the back, we work out. And there are always stories to share. Right now, members of Rescue 2 are staying here while a new station is built for them. Have you guys did that training yet? Theirs will be the first new city-funded firehouse in 30 years. And we just got up and start working, remember? We just got While up they're like, technically okay, visitors, it's, it's clear it's not cliche to call the department one big family. These are my brothers, man. We have a great relationship. You know what I mean? We look out for each other. However, some female members of the department have been critical of the work environment. After allegations of sexual misconduct, an outside investigation culminated in a report that recommended better training and fast-tracking women who want to join. For her part, firefighter Stallworth commends the work of the fire commissioner and offers encouragement to other women. You can't please everybody, no matter what you try to do, but I know he's always trying to make sure that, that the women are okay and that we have what we need. This is a, a great career, it's a great job. It will open you and expose you to, to things you may never get to experience. That includes deep gratitude from the community that moves this tough firefighter to tears. They make me want to cry. Excuse me. The community, they really appreciate you, you know, and they show you when you're out here, that you go girl, you know, they just, they just show you love and it's a blessing.
I want to say you go girl too. Mm -hmm. And back to Fire Commissioner Joe Finn. Erica actually sat down with him in late 2019. Right, and he recently uh, retired after 36 years with the Boston Fire Department. His last tweet as commissioner, he said it was an incredible and thoroughly rewarding career. Enjoy retirement, Joe. Definitely. Coming up, a man on a mission.